things of courage warming up the ranks of officers in indian army navy and air force are jumbled up discuss with your group and put them in the appropriate boxes commander brigadier wing commander vice admiral squadron leader major colonel field marshal air marshal admiral of fleet lieutenant general flying officer commodore real admiral air commodore under army you have to write brigadier major colonel field marshal and lieutenant general under navy you have to write commander vice admiral admiral of fleet commodore rear admiral under air force you have to write wing commander squadron leader air marshal flying officer air commodore question 2 homophones and homographs homophones are words that sounds alike and have different meanings and different spellings means sound is same and meaning and spelling are different homographs are words that are spelled the same but have different meanings means only spelling is the same but the meanings are different now make sentences to bring out the difference between first one where where means to put dress to wear dress rani wanted to wear a pink dress the next one is also where the pronunciation is same this means the vessel the silver wear are very costly then second one here this means the place use it here said the teacher the next is the act of hearing we hear with our ears there there means the place the police went there to catch the thief this there means position the girls picked up their bags and went home then cell cell means small room the thief was sent to the cell cell means here jail cell the act of selling the hawker sells caps write what the underlined homographs in the following sentences mean one a yeah, bear is an omnivorous animal here bear means the animal she could not bear she could not bear the injustice here bear means to tolerate a bat is the only bird which is a mammal bat means a mammal that flies his bat broke as it st struck the ball bat means a wooden implement used for hitting the ball in many games he had to play pay a fine for breaking the traffic signal here fine means the penalty use a fine cloth for the baby's clothes here fine means soft we enjoyed a lot at the temples temple fair here fair means a gatherings gathering of stalls and amusements for public entertainment she has a fair complexion here fair means not dark on wing 
means of courage. Air Force Marshal Arjun Singh, an icon of India's military history, will always be remembered as a war hero who had successfully led a young IAF during the 16, 1965 Indo-Pakistan War. The meaning of icon is respectable person. So he says respectable person who is in of India. Okay, he was remembered as a hero because he led successfully the IAF. It was very young at that time. Young means very new at that time. The only officer to attain the highest post of marshal, the Air Force equivalent to the Army's five-star field marshal, Singh was a fearless and exceptional pilot who had flown more than 60 different types of aircraft. Here his quality is explained. He was fearless and exceptional pilot. Exceptional means extraordinary he was. And what is his, how he is extraordinary? He, he was able to drive more than 60 different types of aircrafts. He played a major role in transforming the IAF into one of the most potent air forces globally and the fourth biggest in the world. His contribution to the Indian Air Force is mon monumental to the least and the IAF grew with him. He was the epitome of military leadership in classical sense and it is therefore not surprising that he was honored with the rank of Air Force Marshal. Former Vice Chief of IAF Kapil Kak said, here the meaning of potent is powerful and effective. So he is a powerful and effective person. Okay. Powerful and effective air forces. He made IAF into a powerful and potential air force. And monumental. Monumental means of great importance and enormous. Enormous means very great. So Indian army became very great. The IAF grew with him. He was the epitome. Epitome means a perfect example of military leadership. So how a person should be, a leader should be. He was an example of that. Singh was honored with the rank of Marshal on the Republic Day in 2002. Sam Harmus Ji, Fram Ji, Jamshed Ji, Manek Shah and KM Kariyappa were the only two army generals honored with the rank of Field Marshal. Known as a man of few words, Singh was not only a fearless pilot but also had profound knowledge about air power and applied it in the wide spectrum of areas. Singh had assiduously led the IAF during the 1965 war and denied success to Pakistani Air Force though it was better equipped with American support. His most outstanding contribution was during that war, said Kak. Here, assiduously means working hard and showing careful attention to details. So, even though the Indian Air Force was not that much equipped like Pakistani, because Pakistani Air Force was equipped with the American support, he made India success. Commanding his role in the war, Y.B. Chavan, the then Defense Minister, had written, Air Marshal Arjun Singh is a jewel of a person, quite efficient and firm, unexcitable, but a very able leader. In 1944, the Marshal had led a squadron against the Japanese during the Arkan campaign. Flying close air support missions during the crucial Impel campaign and later assisted the advance of the Allied forces to Yangon, formerly Rangoon. Why is Air Force Marshal Arjun Singh considered an outstanding military personality?
because he successfully led the IAF during the 1965 Indo-Pak War. He made the IAF one of the most powerful air forces in the world. He was a fearless and exceptional pilot and a deep knowledge and he had a deep knowledge of air power. He was the perfect example of military leadership. That is why he is considered an outstanding military personality. What personality traits of Arjun Singh are mentioned here? He was fearless. He had leadership qualities. He was knowledgeable. He was not very talkative but an exceptional pilot. He applied his knowledge to a wide spectrum of areas. In recognition of his feat, he was awarded the Distinguished Flying Cross on the spot by the Supreme Allied Commander of Southeast Asia, the first Indian pilot to have received it. Singh was selected for the Empire Pilot Training Course at Royal Air Force Cranwell in 1938 when he was 19 years old. He retired from service in 1969. Singh was born on April 15, 1919 in Lialpur, now Faisalabad, Pakistan and completed his education at Montgomery, now Sahiwal, Pakistan. His first assignment on being commissioned was to fly Westland VPT biplanes in the northwestern front frontier province as a member of the number one RAF squadron. Biplanes means old type of aircraft having two pairs of wings one above the other. After a brief stint with the newly formed number no. 2 RAF squadron where the marshal flew against the tribal forces, he later moved back to number no. 1 squadron as a flying officer to fly the Hawker Hurricane. He was promoted to the rank of squadron leader in 1944. Here, a brief stint means a short period of work. Okay, within a short period, he became the IAF squadron. Okay. He formed a number two IA, RAF squadron where the marshal flew against the tribal forces. So he fought against them. For his role in successfully leading the squadron in combat, he was awarded the distinguished flying cross in 1944. On August 15, 1947, he achieved the unique honor of leading a fly past of over a hundred IAF aircraft over the Red Fort in Delhi. Here, fly past, fly past means a ceremonial flight of an aircraft passing over a place. So, he made, he, he made a ceremony. In on August 15, he made he honored the ceremony by flying on Red Fort over the Red Fort with a hundred IAF aircraft. After his promotion to the rank of wing commander, he attended the Royal Staff College at the UK. Immediately after Indian independence, he commanded Ambala in the rank of group captain. In 1949, he was promoted to the rank of Air Commodore and took over as Air Officer Commanding of an Operational Command which later came to be known as Western Air Command. Singh had the distingu distinction of having the longest tenure as AOZ of an operational base initially from 1949 to 1952 and then again from 1957 to 1961.
After his promotion to the rank of Air Vice Marshal, he was appointed as the AOC in C of an operational command. AOC in C means Air Officer Commanding in Chief. So he became the Chief of the Air Office Officer Commanding. Towards the end of the 1962 war, he was appointed as the Deputy Chief of the Air Staff and he became the Vice Chief of the Air Staff in 1963. He was the overall commander of the Joint Air Training Exercise Shiksha held between IAF, RAF, Royal Air Force and RAAF, Royal Australian Air Force. Indian Air Force is Indian. Royal Air Force is of United Kingdom and Royal Australian Air Force is of Australia. What enabled Arjun Singh to the DFC award? In 1944, Arjun Singh led a squadron against the Japanese during the Arkan campaign, flying close air support missions during the crucial Imphal campaign and later assisted the advance, advance of the Allied forces to Yangon. For his role in successfully leading the squadron in combat, he was awarded the Distinguished Flying Cross DFC in 1944. For how long did Arjun Singh hold the post of AOC? Arjun Singh hold the post of AOC from 1949 to 1952 and 1957 to 1961. Totally it will be 9 years. On August 1, 1964, in the rank of Air Marshal, the Marshal of the Air Force Arjun Singh took over reins of IAF at, the, at a time when it was still rebuilding itself and was gearing up to meet new challenges. Took over reins means took over control. Sign, Singh was the first air chief to keep his flying currency till his CS rank. Having flown over 60 different types of aircraft from pre-World War II era biplanes to the more contemporary Nats and Vampires, he has also flown in transport aircraft like the Super Constellation. Flying currency means up-to-date skills and experience of flying aircraft. Contemporary means of present times. So he was knowing to drive the planes of old and new. Very modern aircraft also he knows to drive. In 1965 when Pakistan launched its operation Grand Slam with an armored thrust targeted at the vital town of Atnur, Singh led IAF through the war with courage, determination and professional skill. He inspired IAF to victory despite the constraints imposed on the full-scale use of Air Force combat power. Constraints means restrictions. So many restrictions were there again Pakistan because America was supporting it. But he had done with professional skill so that we, are, we were able to get victory. Singh was awarded Badma Bibushan for his astute leadership of the Air Force during the war. Subsequently, in recognition of the Air Force contribution during the war, the rank of the CIS was upgraded and Arjun Singh became the first Air Chief Marshal of the Indian Air Force. CIS means Chief of the Air Staff. So he was the first one to get that award. He remained a flyer to the end of his tenure in IAF 
visiting forward bases and units and flying with the squadrons. He retired in August 1969 thereupon accepting ambas ambassadorship to Switzerland. He was Lieutenant Governor of Delhi from December 1989 to December 1990. Forward by basis means a secured forward operating military position. So he was visiting all the visiting the bases, the military bases. And he after his retirement, he was appointed as the ambassador of Switzerland. Then afterwards, he became the Lieutenant Governor of Delhi also, having been a source of inspiration to all the personnel of armed forces through the years, the government conferred the rank of the Marshal of the Air Force upon Arjun Singh in January 2002, making him the first and the only 5 star rank officer with Indian Air Force. So the government approved him as the 5 star rank officer with the Indian Air Force. English Workshop Read the text and fill the flowchart of the promotions received by Arjun Singh. Member of number 1 RAF Flying Officer Wing Commander Air Commander Air Officer Officer Commanding Air Officer Commanding in Chief Marshal of the Air Force With the help of facts given in the text Prepare a fact file of Air Marshal Arjun Singh Date of Birth April 15, 1919 Place of Birth Lealpur Education at Montgomery Embair Pilot Training Course at RAF Cranwell. First assignment to fly West Westland Wapiti biplanes in the Northwestern Frontier Province as a member of the number no. one RAF squadron. Important posts held. In Air Force, member of number no. 1 RAF Flying Officer, Squadron Leader, Wing Commander, Group Captain, Air Commodore, Air Officer Commanding, Air Vice Marshal, Air Officer Commanding in Chief, Deputy Chief of Air Staff, Vice Chief of Air Staff, Chief of Air Staff, Air Chief Marshal. After Retirement Ambassador to Switzerland, Lieutenant Governor of Delhi. Awards Distinguished Flying Cross, Badma Vibhushan. Most Outstanding Contribution in IAF Transforming the IAF into one of the most potent air forces globally and the fourth biggest in the world Retirement in August 1969 Fill in the verb Qualities of Arjun Singh Brave, knowledgeable, calm, leadership, exceptional. Say what actions preceded the following promotions of Arjun Singh in his career in the IAF. A. Selected for Empire Pilot Training Course at RAF. The answer is, he completed his education at Montgomery, promoted to squadron leader. He flew against the tribal forces and moved back 
to number one squadron as a flying officer to fly the Hawker Hurricane. Leader of a fly past over 100 aircrafts at Redford, Delhi. Arjun Singh successfully led the squadron in combat and was awarded the Distinguished Flying Cross. Awarded Padma Vibhushan. He was awarded the Padma Vibhushan for his astute leadership of the Air Force and for inspiring the IAF to victory in the 1965 Indo-Pak War. First Air Chief Marshal of Indian Air Force. He was a source of inspiration to all the personnel of the armed forces through the years. Replace the underlined words or phrases with the appropriate ones to retain the proper meaning. Be the epitome of gear up, a brief stint, play a major role in cognition of takeover reigns. He contributed notably in bringing up the school. The answer will be he played a major role in bringing up the school. Our school cricket team got ready for the final match against PQR High School. The answer is our school cricket team geared up for the final match against PQR High School. After a short period of working as a lecturer, Ravi took up an important post in a multinational company. The answer is after a brief stint as a lecturer, Ravi took up an important post in a multinational company. Our class monitor is a perfect symbol of duty and discipline. The answer is our class monitor is the epitome of duty and discipline. Accepting the great value of his research, they awarded him with a PhD degree. The answer is, in recognition of his research, they awarded him with a PhD degree. After the murder of King Duncan, Macbeth took over the control of Scotland. The answer is, after the murder of King Duncan, Macbeth took over the reins of Scotland. Build the word wall with the words related with military. Army, soldiers, guns, tanks. Ammunition, trenches, commands, war. Aircraft, submarines, pilots, captains. State the different meanings of the following pairs of homophones and make sentences of your own with each of them. Word, meaning and sentence. Word, lead. The meaning is past participle of lead. Sentence, the scoutmaster led his team safely. Lead. Graphite used as part of a pencil. The sentence is The graphite is needed to make the lead of the pencil roll a part in a play, film, etc. Sentence Shah Rukh Khan got the leading role in the new movie. Role. Meaning is move in a particular direction by turning over and over. Sentence She rolled her eyes. Air. The meaning is the invisible gaseous substance surrounding the earth. Sentence Air is necessary 
for all living things ar meaning successor or inheritor sentence the prince became the heir to the throne feat meaning a great achievement sentence climbing mount everest is a feat feat a unit of measurement sentence there was 50 feet water in the dam rain meaning rule as king or queen sentence during shivaji maharaj's reign people were very happy rain meaning a restraining influence sentence the new principal kept a tight rein on the students rain water that falls in drops from clouds in the sky sentence children love to play in the rain the following homographs have the same spelling and pronunciation but can have different meanings make sentences of your own to show the difference firm my neighbor recently joined an electrical firm as a manager second sentence many people are firm with their children when they are growing train first sentence the train arrived very late second sentence teachers train the students to behave well type first sentence i asked her to type the letter second sentence there are many types of people post first sentence the post was not suitable for my mother and hence she quit her job second sentence the boy ran to the post office to post a letter current first sentence the current situation of farmers is bad because of the cyclone second sentence it is difficult to row against the current of a river glance through the text and prepare notes from the information that you get take only relevant points don't use sentences arrange the points in the same order you may use symbols and short forms present the points sequentially use highlighting techniques develop a story suitable to the conclusion or end given below suggest a suitable title here this is story writing here you have to write the story for writing a story first you have to write a title when you are writing the title you have to write in toggle case that means the first letters of the first letter of each word in capital letters then you have to write one or two paragraphs you have to leave you have to start the paragraph near by the margin only and in between paragraphs you have to leave one line and you have to end the story with the ending which is given here next you wish to join any one of the indian armed forces fill in the following application form to the advert the advertiser n slash af recruitment service purangam 456789 application for recruitment reason notice number 1234 post applied for here you have to write the name of the post okay so so which post you want to apply for that post you have to write here 
name and surname of candidate in block letters. Block letters means in capital letters. You would write your name here. Father's name. Father's name you would write here. Mother's name you would write here. Date of birth. Date of birth. This is date. Two digits. Then month. Two digits. And year. Four digits. Contact details. Telephone number. Residence. Mobile number. Your mobile number you can write. Email ID. Your email ID you have to write. All should be in small letters. Permanent address. House number or street village. Here you have to write your house number and the name of your building and your street name. The name of the village also. Post office. Which post office you are belong to that you have to write. District. Here you have to write the district. For example Mumbai. Mumbai district. State. State means for us it is Maharashtra. Pin code. You have to write your pin code. Educational qualifications. Serial number. Serial number you will write 1, 2 like that. Then qualification. What is your qualification? That you will write there. Then name of the school or college. Okay. So where you studied that name you have to write. Name of board or university. We are SSC board. Percentage obtained. How much percentage you have got in SSE exam like that you have to write. Whether registered at any employment exchange, yes or no. Okay, if you have registered your name in the employment exchange, then you have to write yes. Otherwise, you have to write no. If yes, mention registration number and the name of the employment exchange. You have to write the employment register number and the name of the exchange you have to write there. Outstanding achievements in extracurricular activities or sports or games etc. So here if you are having any certificate, any inter school, state level, international level, any achievements you have done, that certificates the name you would write here. Why you wish to join armed forces? So you will, you will be writing the reason why you want to join in armed forces. Thank you.